Hello everyone, this is Monday off. My name is Leslie and I'm here with my colleague. Hello everybody, my name is Alejandra, nice to meet you all. And today we're going to talk about how every game deserves a chance. Do not be afraid of CPI. Okay, first of all, I will talk about Space Agenda. We're going to start off with a short introduction about Monday off. After, we will talk about the CPI and why it is so important these days. Um, next, we're going to talk about retention and why we should not only focus on CPI, as well as other important metrics that should be considered when testing or publishing a game, as well as the Monday off way. How do we test and publish our games and work with our partners? Last, we will you know, get to our conclusion that CPI is not everything. First of all, I will talk a bit about Monday Off. Monday Off is the first hyper-casual gaming studio and publisher in South Korea. We think we have a quite special way to approach publishing, which is mainly flexible KPIs. We do not have like a line that you have to cross in order to publish with us, as well as close relationships to our partner studios, which is very important to us. Next, I'm going to talk a bit about why the CPI is so important and still like one of the most requested, requested metrics these days. Of course, CPI is the easiest way to check for a game's profitability. Naturally, the saturated market equals in very high competition and in order to stay profitable, you will need a low CPI. A low CPI usually means high profit, and in the end, that's what you want when you're publishing a hyper-casual game. But the CPI fluctuates is very much influenced by current trends, by seasons, so we don't think it is a 100% reliable metric. And now why we think we should not only focus on CPI, although of course, all publishers will consider other metrics as well. I think we have a quite um, low threshold of a CPI, you know, KPI that needs to be met. Um, we consider other metrics as such as retention, playtime, IPM, and LTV. And we think that these metrics become a very reliable source of information regarding a game's marketability. We think that an active user base will equal in a good stream of revenue, even if the CPI is a bit higher than the market standard around 20, 30 cents. And now we can tell you why we think so. So first, why do we think retention is so important? The, ret the D1 retention is the most important indicator of how many players are willing to return to your game after they installed it. And usually if your game D1 retention is under 20%, it means that your game really um, needs some improvements because right now it is not attractive enough for players to return. Generally, we would say that 30 and 40% D1 retention show that a game is very promising and that users are enjoying your game, even if the CPI is a bit higher. And we think that we can still work with such a game. In order to improve the retention, you really have to focus on gameplay and replayability. And another pointer to see how important retention and playtime are these days in this competitive market is Arcade Idol. Arcade Idol really shines through longevity, through expansion and growth. You know, everyone knows like, Maybe a restaurant, cafe, hospital expansion game where you, you know, walk around and work on with the people and there's generally a lot of content. And of course, more content will result in more satisfaction as long as it's well executed. And through, you know, the constant, um, you know, requests and quests that are coming in, there will be a much longer playtime than just, you know, having a running game, for example. And a longer playtime means more ads can be shown. So 
obviously the game will be in a profit. Arcade Idol is great for different means of monetization. You can have rewarded ads, interstitials, and banner ads that will not be as you know, distracting as, for example, in a simple runner or puzzle game. And the good thing about Arcade Idol is that it can be added to almost any type of game. These days, we can notice that a lot of classic, you know, runner games have an Arcade Idol update. So there's more content to the game, which will highly increase retention and playtime. But we think, of course, retention is super important, but there's other metrics that we should pay attention to, such as IPM. IPM means insults per mile, so basically, for every thousand impressions, how many installs do you get? This metric is very good to optimize UA campaigns or measure A-B test successes. It disregards ad spending and is such, it is much more reliable and actually a factor that focuses on the quality of a UA campaign. It is much easier to improve uh, IPM than a CPI because you know, if you're experimenting with creatives and playables, for example, you can get more interactions and more people interested in your game. It also has like high effects on eCPM. If this IPM is high, then your eCPM will be boosted. Okay, uh, next I wanna talk about the ECPM or the effective cost per mile. Um, this metric is not often spoken about, but it shows how much revenue you have made per thousand impressions. So rough calculation. And also it helps the publishers know how much to spend per thousand impressions. So knowing this metric can be very exciting, but also could be like disheartening depending on the situation. Hopefully the results will be very exciting. So <clears throat> the final goal for the ECPM is to have a return on ad spend of over 100%. So this means that all of your expenses for your ads are completely covered by your revenue. Um, next is the LTV, um, is the lifetime, um, lifetime value. So this helps calculate the worth of the new year cert and the value of your app. Um, it is the key to knowing the growth and success of your game and it is highly affected by retention and RPDAO or average revenue per daily active user. So that means that if your retention is high, then the LTV will be high too. So may always make sure to pay attention to the retention. That's why we highlighted it a lot in the beginning. Um, if these two KPIs show promising the results, then your game has a really high chance of having a long time success. At the end, the main goal is for your LTV to be higher than your CPI. So that means your game can be profitable for a really long time. Um, also, I want to mention that ARPEDAO and LTV are highly affected by experimentation and game changes in monetization and gameplay. So always make sure to know how to manage your monetization in your game. Um, for example, if you add um, some sort of gems or something the user can buy for your game to make their game player like their character is stronger or faster, et cetera. This will add more value to your ARPDAO and <clears throat> increase your LTV. Also how much, how many interstitials you have in your game while the player, while the user plays your game and how often they are played. 
this to this also can affect your retention due to the different showings of the interstitials and also affect your art gal highly because more ads, more revenue. Um, so yeah, always make sure that you can manage your my marketing campaigns that can drive your game to success. Um, next, I wanna talk about Monday, Monday off day and what we mostly focus on. So we mostly focus on retention, play time and LTV as we mentioned earlier. Um, so we believe that as long as the retention, as long as these three metrics are promising, the game can be a success and it can be further improved to be have better metrics in the long run. Also, if the CPI is lower than 70 cents and the retention is over 30%, it has a really high chance to be publishing potential. So that's why we always focus mostly on the retention. Uh, next, I wanna highlight a special case, which is Change and Drop. Um, this is a game that is dear to us in Monday Off. And I want to let you know beforehand that the metrics for the CTR, CPI, and IPM are non-organic traffic. And the results are Facebook ad results, and it was tested on the Google Play Store. Uh, for the retention, daily session time, and LTV is non organic and organic traffic that also have our results from, the, from Facebook ads. And it was tested on the Google Play Store. <clears throat> So uh, for our initial iteration, the CTR was 1.58%, which is pretty low, but then we were able to make pump it up <laughs> to in our final iteration to 3.05%. Um, the CPI made the, quite a huge change. So in the initial iteration, it was of 1.73 cents and <clears throat> On the final one, it lower up to 49 cents. So you, as you can see by making different iterations and not giving up on your game, you can have way better results on your CPI. Um, the IPM also rose up quite a lot from 20.61 to 67.9 in our final iteration, meaning that more players are downloading the game when watching our ads. And for the retention, the metric that we pay the most attention to, since we saw in the first iteration that it had a quite high, that the retention was quite high, we decided to keep working on it. And the final iteration, in the final iteration, the retention rose up to 37.8%. And on the decent retention, the players kept playing even more for longer than in the first, the initial iteration from 7.6% to 9.5%. Also, our daily session time rose up to 7.5 minutes from 4.3 minutes, meaning that more players are, more users are playing our game for a longer time per session. And the LTV, which is one a metric that we always focus on too. Um, the initial one was 32 cents and it rose to 58 cents, being higher than the CPI in our final iteration, meaning that it has a big potential of making profit in the future. So that's why I wanted to highlight that CPI is not everything that in your initial iteration, if your CPI is not great, but the retention is pretty promising, then you should not give up on your game. That's why we believe in flexible KPIs and giving every game a chance. And always remember that retention, playtime, and LTV are the key metrics to knowing if your game can, have, can be a potential hit. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our presentation. 
We just wanted to let you know that our winter competition, Monday of Party Winter Wonderland, is ending soon. You have until December 23rd at 11:59 p.m. UTC to submit your game. Then the remaining games will get tested until December 31st. On January 9th, we will hold the closing ceremony and announce the winners. Don't miss out on this amazing chance to publish based on flexible KPIs and win up to $1 million. At Monday of Party, you can enjoy the wonders of flexible KPIs. To publish with flexible KPIs, you must obtain a minimum of 4 points. Please take a look at our points table to check out how much MG you can update for your game. If you want more detailed information on the event, please check our event's website. We also have bonus prizes such as Monday of Choice, Best Design, and Most Original. Make sure to submit your game now and thank you for listening to our presentation. Okay, thank you so much for your attention. And if you have any further questions, you can put them in the chat for in the, during the Q&A or email us or message us through LinkedIn. Thank you so much.